Hey, my name's Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the biggest hurdles holding back new and intermediate micro solders from moving forward. We're talking about low melt desoldering alloy. All right, so what exactly is low melt and why is it so bad to use it? Um, first off, it's not really terrible to use it. It's just one of those situations where, you know, you need to know what you're doing before you get into it, okay? It, it requires a much more uh, mature mindset in terms of how you use it versus, you know, somebody who's brand new to micro soldering getting a hold of it and just going bananas with it, okay? Low melt itself is a lower melting point soldering alloy. Okay, while a normal 6337, you're gonna need over 180 C to get that to get that stuff going, okay? To get it to its wet phase. Alright. Now, if we look at some of the low melts, some of them actually hit their wetting temperature around the 60 C mark. That is insanely low. Now, that in itself makes it really easy to take components off the board. Okay, and you know, I see a lot of new people get stuck on it, like, oh wow, this stuff's magic. Like I can do whatever I want with this. I won't damage the board. I'll just put a huge, giant glob on this charging port, and I'll just do it. Is there not a does Does nobody see a problem here? Does nobody see a problem that like you know this should be an easy enough job to do without the low melt that all you're doing is stunning your ability to learn? Okay, I truly 100% think that. If you use low melt exclusively, you are cutting out half of your practical experience. You are cutting out half of the thermodynamics to the situation, okay? It could, in essence, take you infinitely longer to move forward, especially rely on low melt to do all your jobs, okay? If you can't do a job without low melt, you can't really do the job at all. That's my opinion on it. I think that you're doing yourself a crazy disservice if you consistently use low melt and you don't try and move forward.